Janice Sharp, mother to Gary McKinnon. Uh, Janice spent 10 years and 7 months fighting her son's extradition. In October 2012 she finally won her battle and in December 2012 the CPS announced that Gary would not face charges in the UK either. These two announcements were a spectacular victory for Janice and spoke volumes about her relentless fight to, to save Gary's life effectively. Uh, she has um, throughout that cause help and legal aid but she has since become a redoubtable campaigner for legal aid. She spoke out at our last demonstration in January and she's back to say some words of support today. A warm welcome please for Janice. Without legal aid, my son Gary would not be here today. He would be dead, and that is the reality. When that knock comes to your door, everyone thinks it won't be me, but one day it can be. And when that knock comes to your door and you're terrified, you, you walk into a solicitor's office, and the relief when she turns around and says, I'll take the case, they don't ask how much money you've got, they just take it on, and you feel that someone is in your side. And suddenly, you actually have someone representing you. Now, there has been no rise in legal aid fees for 15 years. There's an eight reported percent coming this month, and lawyers are not even making 8%. This is unsustainable. We cannot carry on like this. And to find out that lawyers in the future will be offered financial incentives to have a quick guilty plea is so, so wrong. So <laughs> So next time, when someone is in trouble and they walk round to their high street solicitors, they won't be there. They go round the corner to another, they won't be there. So we go into one of the top ones, and they say, how much money have you got? You go, I'm not doing very well at the moment. Sorry, I can't help you. But if you go round the corner, there's a guy who doesn't know his ass from his elbow, he'll do it for you. This is no good. This is not good to anyone. We cannot lose this. This is not part of because the threat started in 1997 and has continued to force tournaments. And it must be stopped. There's an election coming up. We want it in strong. This has to change and we'll think about who we elect. And it will depend on equal rights because we are all supposedly equal in the eyes of the law. Let's see it. Thank you. Well done, Gary McKinnon's uh, um, Okay, just...